you've lots of data to create, rather than creating each record one at a time, you might find it easier to import from spreadsheets. Especially handy if you're making the switch to current from another solution. Before you begin, it's a great idea to create a few products or organisations in our web interface, along with any associated data, like stock levels or contacts. This will give you an idea of the kind of fields available and a feel for how data is stored in general in current. When you've done that, head to System Setup, Export Data, and export the types of data that you just created. The exported CSV files act as ready-to-go templates that you can now add new records to. Just add new data as rows to the spreadsheet. To import, work methodically through each type of data. For example, for products, first create and import a list of your products and their attributes, then import the stock levels, then supplier costs, and finally accessories. Importing data can be an intricate process, so our comprehensive import data guides are always on hand so you can quickly reference column headings. Current's modular approach to data means that it's also really easy to update information in future. Looking to update your rates at the end of the season? Export a simple spreadsheet with all of your rates listed, make some changes, and then re-import. Keep in mind that the ID column should be left intact to update existing records and blank to create new ones. Remember to always save your spreadsheets as CSV files. Once you've prepped your spreadsheets, go to System Setup Import Data to begin the process. Choose the type of data and browse for your CSV file. Columns on your spreadsheet that match fields in current RMS are automatically mapped for you, turning green. Change or set column mapping using the drop-down boxes so all columns you wish to import are green. Once an import has been uploaded, current RMS will let you know the status straight away or send you an email to let you know the status of the import. If there's anything wrong, the email includes details of the problem and any impacted rows so you can make changes and re-import. For a full overview on importing your data, get in touch with the team today. Thank you.